Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Several people have asked what mercury would look like being dripped into a container of water. Um, so I decided to do that and I used this plastic container which is pretty clear and allowed me to get a good side shots of it. Um, other people also wanted to see what mercury would look like in a blender. Well, I don't have a blender that I want to contaminate with mercury. Also, I think the glass or whatever the container would be uh, of the blender, it would be difficult to film through. So this is the next best thing. Now it really didn't look very exciting or interesting in real time and it wasn't until I reviewed the high speed footage of these two shots that I thought was pretty cool. A lot of unexpected things. I thought it looked pretty cool with the air bubbles the water and the mercury all kind of interacting together. You'll, if you look closely, there's some little bulges or, or bubbles on the surface of the mercury. And what those are are bubbles of water forming on the surface tension of the mercury. Certainly, I did not see that in real time at all. And um, I, was, I thought they were air bubbles at first, but obviously they're water bubbles. Now this shot is at 300 frames per second and it's a, it's a lot nicer resolution than 600 frames per second and it's still 10 times slower than real time. One of the biggest problems I had with this shot was just trying to figure out what to focus on and getting the focal length of the camera correct. Now the cameras that I use, the high speed cameras, are Casio EXF1 and um, they're kind of like DSLR cameras where you can adjust the exposure and the f-stop and white balance and all that manually and really to get the best shots you really need to tweak the camera a lot it doesn't really like using the automatic settings very well I think the biggest surprise for me that I saw when I reviewed this was seeing how little of a splash the mercury made as it went into the water but it, but it had enough speed and energy to crash into itself and create um, pretty good sized ripples. Now I just had the spoon as a, you know I put it inside the container and I would adjust the focus on the camera and lock the focus and then I thought hey what would it be like if I stirred this thing what would it what, you know what would that look like like at the beginning when I showed you what it looked like in real time, it wasn't very exciting. And honestly, I, I brought my cameras in and I thought, I, you know, this isn't, you know, this is a, a flop and I'm not going to have any good footage here. But then I re started reviewing the footage. You know, I always review everything I shoot. This, you know, sometimes there's some surprises in there. And uh, I was really blown away how pretty this looks. It's like a wave machine or a lava lamp or something like that. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised how flat the mercury laid. I was kind of expecting it to be flung out a little bit more, you know, but since it is so dense, you know, it is about 14 times denser than water, um, I guess it's behaving as we would expect. Now, if you enjoy videos about mercury, I have a whole playlist. I've done a lot of different unusual things with this very exotic element. A few of the ideas are my own, and many of them are viewer suggestions. A lot of creative people out there, and I thank you for all your ideas. I probably get three or four suggestions a day about shooting mercury out of a shotgun, and that would just be so wrong and so hazardous and probably very illegal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the playlists. If you haven't seen them, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.